हेलो वेलकम टू जोलॉजिस्ट मोहसिन यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी शेल डिस्कस मेंडिलियन क्रासेस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी व्हाट आर एफ वन एफ टू एंड एफ थ्री जनरेशन व्हाट आर देयर फिनोटिपिक एंड जीनोटिपिक रेशियोज एंड टुडेज लेक्चर इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंपॉर्टेंट एज एवरी एग्जाम कंटेन टू और थ्री क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द जीनोटिपिक और फिनोटिपिक रेशियो प्रिडिक्शन बेस्ड ऑन इनहेरिटेंस सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट पेरेंटल जनरेशन Mendel did all his work on Pisum stivum that is pea plant and uh, he produced pure breeding tall and short generations by continuous cross between tall to tall and short to short and it took uh, many years to produce these pure breeds of tall and short in separate fields when these generations of pure breeding tall and short were named as first parental generation by him denoted as p1 when these generations were ready he crossed pure breeding tall with short in the first cross as how he did that at the time of flowering he removed stamens from half of tall flowers and ovaries from half of short plants and vice versa before pollination then he used camel hair brush to transfer pollen from one flower to other a uh, flower of choice he did this reciprocally to nullify the effect of one allele on the other we know that when gametes are formed each allele is segregated and goes to one of the gametes as these are the gametes from one parent and these are from second parent each gamete has equal chance to fertilize any gamete of counterpart so probability includes all possible combinations just like this capital t from first parent can fertilize the first small t of the second parent similarly this capital t can also fertilize and there is equal chance uh, to the second small t similarly the second capital t can fertilize the first small t and capital second capital t can fertilize the second small t so these are the probable of springs or probability ratios of the of springs the generation produced here is the first filial generation or f1 allele for tall was dominant so it expressed itself while allele for short height was suppressed hence all the f1 were tall which surprised mendel then he took f1 plants and crossed them with each other now f1 are as p2 and this is the second cross uh, mendel made here is the uh, p2 now uh, all springs of p1 are now as p2 these are gametes and these gametes will fertilize and there is equal probability as we have discussed earlier the generation produced this is f2 and the first plant was tall similarly second is also tall third is also tall while fourth one was dwarf and mendel was really surprised that now we have taken all the tall plants and from where this dwarf has came this is called as the phenotype the apparent or expression and the phenotypic ratio here is tall are 75% while short are 25% so the simplest ratio between 75% and 25% is 3 ratio 1 similarly these are the genes or alleles or genotype and the genotypic ratio is uh, homozygous tall 1 heterozygous tall 2 and homozygous short 1 so the typical genotypic ratio of the second cross are uh, in the p2 and f2 were 1 to 1 after surprising results in f2 generation mendel then took few plants from f1 and crossed them with dwarf or short ones for him results were again surprising but conclusive here is the cross again between the f1 plant and a short or dwarf plants these are the gametes 
and then again they have equal probabilities of fertilization uh, with each other and here is the f3 generation first one is tall second is tall third is dwarf and fourth one is also dwarf and that is the phenotype phenotypic ratio of this third cross is tall 2 and short 2 so the simplest ratio between tall and short in the phenotype is one ratio one similarly that is the genotype and the genotypic ratio is heterozygous tall 2 homozygous short uh, 2 so the simplest ratio is also one ratio one thank you